Okay, welcome back. Um, it's nice to see you all again. Uh, I'm so excited to run this second session. I hope everyone has enjoyed all of the sessions that have been on the Clubhouse. It's been extremely inspiring. So last, last session I talked about sticking together in, the, in this time. And now today I want to dedicate um, this session to global goal number five, gender equality, and global goal number 10 reduced inequalities. So one of the things I really love about this beautiful game is that no matter what age you are, what gender you are, your background or where you come from is that um, we all can play this beautiful game and be a part of this beautiful game and we're united on the pitch through this ball. So one thing I, one, one thing one of my best friends shared with me, the statement stuck with me my whole life was, we're all the same with the ball. So I'm excited to train with you. So. Let's take the ball and let's train inside. So let me start the music. See my niece, Alexandra just joined as well. Nice to see you. Okay, so everything that we did last week, we're gonna go over a little bit, a few things, and then we're gonna progress. So the first thing that we're going to do, so we're just going to explore our feet, inside, outside, sole, just in our, the space that we have. So whatever space you have, take one minute, and I want you to explore your space. So listen to the music. Using all different parts of your feet, you can take it nice and slow. I just want you to have a little bit of fun and freedom with the ball and creativity. So we're getting our bodies nice and warm. So now what I want you to do is just with your right and left foot, we're going to switch every so often. Inside, outside, inside, outside. So same thing with the left foot. Bop, bop. So you have to take some time in the space and start on the right foot. Inside, outside. So just nice and easy. Bop, bop. Listen to the music. Here we go with the left foot. In, out, bop, 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 bop. Next part, we're just going to use the soles of our feet, so nice and easy, exploring the space. I can go back, I can go forward, I can go in a circle. Everything in my soul, I can walk with the ball. Okay, jump if I like. Or I can still keep walking. Next thing, I'm just going to work with the inside of my feet, just nice and easy here. Again, exploring my space. So I can go forward, back, I can take nice and slow, or I can take it a little bit quicker, depending on where I am. So nice and easy, box, 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 box. Exploring your space, feel a little bit of freedom with the ball, have fun with the ball. Well done. So now, in this next area, so we're going to be a bit interactive here. So if I say one, I want you to do inside, outside with the right foot. That's one. If I say two, I want you to do inside, outside with the left foot. If I say three, I want you to do ball taps. So everything with the sole. If I say four, we're coming back inside. 
So it's gonna be, we'll go through everything first. So one, in, out, right foot. Two, in, out, left foot. Three, ball taps. And four, inside. Same thing. If I catch it hard, 
I'm not going to get your book. So I use the momentum of the ball. And that's easy. Then I can try to switch if I want. Have a little fun with the ball. How many can I get? Good. From here, it's still okay if we're just right here. It's still completely defined. Now, once I get it here, if I can, I want to put weight on that heel and I want to see if I can take the ball for a little walk. So I'm going to take a few steps to the right. Switch to the left. Switch to, I'll switch feet to the right. Can I take a few steps? A few steps. Take the ball for a walk. And for all you freestyles out here, challenge of the day. Oh. Try one more time. There we go. But it's completely okay if we're still here. Next phase of this balance and this little bit challenge. So everything is about stability here. So now I'm going to balance the ball on the back of my neck. So it's important I have a flat back, not a round back. That my shoulders are making a little board in between my shoulders. So I'm going to try and find the balance. If it falls, it's okay. I just try again. Flat back, strong core. Put it here. I can come out for some balance in my arms. If I can, I can try and walk around. If I can do this, I'm going to try and come down. Do push ups. Remember, it's completely okay if I'm just getting the balance here. Next little challenge, so I'm going to try and balance the ball on my head. <laughs> so from here I'm going to use the hairline, this is the part where I also have the ball. So right here in the hairline, I'm working on a little bit of neck mobility, neck strength. So I'm looking at the ball, can I balance the ball? If I can't, and it falls, it's okay. We try again, we may go to the side, so it's important to keep it tight for my knees back a little bit. If I can, I can dance. If I'm really good, I can try and sit down and then stand back up. So a nice little challenge there. The next one, you put the ball down. So a little bit of diamond dynamic stretching. This time I'm going to shuffle to the side. I'm going to take a step, and I'm going to come up here. So shuffle to the side, take a step, come up here. So I want, I can add a little jump, so now I'm going to fly. So make sure I find the balance. If I can't jump, it's okay to shuffle. Flatten your weight here. I'm going to fly. So shuffle, let your weight here. I'm going to fly. I'm warming up the hamstring. As you can see, I incorporate the ball into every warm up I do. So the next part of the dynamic um, stretching bar portion is with the ball, of course. So now I'm going to focus on striking the ball a bit. So here, I'm going to strike the ball straight up and catch. Straight up and catch. If there's something that I can break around my house, it's okay to hold the ball and focus on striking here. So when I strike, my ankle is completely locked, my toes pointed down, and I'm coming through. So when I come through, notice how there's almost no spin on the ball. Oh, there's a little spin there. So I want to try and strike it with no spin. There. So if my ankle's locked and I hit that sweet spot, there'll be no spin on the ball. So I can go up, I can have a little happy feet between. Listen to music. So can I hear the music? I can also stay here if I need to. If I want more of a challenge, I can add two. Notice, I'm going one step, step, two step, step. One step, step, two step, step. Next 
part, next portion. So I'm going to work with the outside of my feet, so I'm working on my internal rotation of the hip. So I'm going to come out here, take a few steps, out here, take a few steps. So my knee is up and I'm coming out. So pop, few steps, pop, few steps. More than okay to do it without the ball. I can rotate as well, pop. If so, if you can do it with the ball, I'm going to try and make a, a floor on my foot here. So I'm coming straight up here. Happy feet in between, straight up. If I can, I can have two. Same things with the steps in between. I don't want any of these. <laughs> up. Up. Or I can stick here. More than okay. Just to get used to this motion of the hip. A lot of mobility when it comes to internal rotation. Next one. I like to use the whole body. So we're gonna I'm gonna challenge you to your shoulders so I can I can pop if I want, a little shoulder pop. Or I can use the ball, so I'm gonna pop the shoulder, catch it. So I'm using this part of my shoulder here and I'm popping up. So I don't need to use ball, I can pop, listen to music, or so I'm getting used to this. Pop, pop. So here I can also shoulder, head, catch. Oh, still training as well. I can see how many I can do, but it's still okay. Still work on this moment. Still okay, just to work on the shoulder. Pop, catch. Well done. Last part of the warm up, we're going to go back to dribbling around in our space. You remember the one, two, three, and four. Let's see if I can get any answers. Does anyone remember the one, two, three, and four? Let's see. Okay, I'll go over it with everyone. <laughs> so, number one is right foot, inside, outside. So, if I yell one, inside, outside. Now we're gonna add the clap, inside, clap front, outside, clap in the back. If I can't do that, it's okay to clap forward. So I can go inside, outside, inside, outside. If I can do that, inside, outside, clap in the back. That's one, left is two, inside, outside, inside, outside. Three, ball tap, like it would be a bit quicker. And then four, a little bit quicker with our inside touches. So are you ready? Let's go. Four. As quick as we can. Two. One. Three. 
right here. And well done. The warm up is complete. I hope everyone feels warm and is ready for the training. <laughs> so now let's take some, a quick water break. Important to stay hydrated. Okay, in this next phase of training, again, it will be things we did in the first session, and we'll be progressing to a few different combinations. So just to start off, nice and easy, I really want to stick to this movement. It's really important in the global World Cup that we're able to have the ball at our feet and be able to handle the ball in tight spaces and pressure. So this is the perfect time to train in our home, in our own environment in these tight spaces. So now I just want you to follow me. We're gonna work here. This is stay, we're gonna go forward, back, to the right, to the left. All of your own feet are just gonna stay here. I can go a little faster if I can. Go forward. Back. Go a circle. Other way. And again, forward. Back. The right, the left, circle. Okay, if I'm training at my own pace, I'm going to be comfortable with the ball. Well done, next part. One, two, three, stop. At one, two, three, stop. But I stop it with this, but I start with one, two, three, stop. A little review here. Two, three, stop. I can be quicker once I get the hang of it. I can also keep going slow. One, two, three, stop. Well done. The next phase. So I'm going to do a lot of exercise today where I train the right side first, left side first, or left side and then right side. So this part, I'm gonna kind of make a triangle with the ball. So I'm gonna roll the ball back, hit it with the inside, inside here. So I'm gonna roll, the, I roll backwards, so in this case my right, I hit with the inside, inside stop. Up, up. So kind of creating a triangle with my feet. So if I do it fast, oh. if I do it slow, up, up. Stop, roll, inside, inside, stop. Inside, inside, stop. Stop, stop. Can I have a little hop? If I can't hop, it's okay to stick here. And focus on pulling it back, drawing it back, inside, inside, drawing it back, inside, inside. If I can, I can really challenge myself. Go back, inside, inside, stop. Good. So we're just focusing on this pull back of the right foot. Drawing the ball back. Bop, bop. Good, well done. So now we're going to come to the left side, the left foot. So I'm going to draw the ball back, inside, inside, stop. So we did the right, so now we come to the left. Pull back, in, in, stop. Up, up, stop. So the foot I pull backward, the foot I touch inside with, creating this triangle in between my legs. I can work at different speeds. Two, three, 
four, five, One more time, 10 on the right, 10 on the left, at your own speed. So I'm going to go a little bit faster than you this time, but please really focus on these movements, really focus on that full back movement. Ready? 10. 10 and we switch. Other side. Ole, well done. So now the next one. So everything starts in between. This is the basic movement here. One, two, now I'm gonna roll the ball over. One, two, roll the ball over. One, two, go. When I roll the ball over, I stop it with, step here, and then I roll again. Stop, step, roll. Stop, step, roll. So one, two, roll, stop, step, roll. So when I roll, think about it as like a karaoke. Like a line dance. So I'm coming, same thing with the ball. One, two, roll. Stop, hit, roll. Stop, hit, roll. Stop, stop. Of course, I can go faster if I like to. Looks like it's a pattern. And slow it down again. It's okay to stay here and get the motion. Crossing over. Crossing over. Good. So when I'm doing this, I can stay here where I roll. Or I'm going to add a little move to it. So if you want to add it, you're welcome to. If you want to stay here, please do. So here's how it works. So I'm going to do one, two, roll. With my opposite foot, I'm going to step over it. And then I'm going to come with one, two. When I roll, I step over with the opposite foot. So if I come back again for the combination, one, two, roll, step over. The foot I step over with is the foot that I start with. Bop, bop, roll, I step over, so look between the legs, and then I start over. Roll, step over. So we can try, we'll take one minute, I can just stay here. Or, I can add the step over. Bop, bop, roll, step over. Well done. Let's see who's here. Let's see who we got signed on here. We'll take a little water break. Ronnie Andrew, nice to see you. Becca Todd from Team Brave is signed in. Diana. My Nana, my grandma. <laughs> People from Jordan. It's really, really nice. Casey King from Massachusetts. <laughs> it's really nice to see you all. Let's see. It's been 30 minutes. What do you say? Do you guys want to go 10 minutes more? I kind of went a little overboard in the warm-up. If you can stay, let's stay. If not, 10 more minutes. Take a little water if you need it. The next part I'm working with, I'm working with outside, inside, outside, inside. So every combination from here starts from this basic movement. So one minute, we're going to, again, as far as this, outside, inside, and we foot. Outside, inside. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. So we can do it slow or fast. This is the basic movement. Good. 
Hold on, so with this, this will be a bit of a challenge. So if I'm training my right foot, I'm going to start with my right left. So Tacey that you're watching, I actually learned this from Doc from the Boston Aspects. So this is the combination I've taken with me all throughout my career, both as a player and as a coach. So if I'm going with my right, if I'm training my right, I'm going to start with my left. Same pattern, so I'm going to start with this outside, inside, outside, sole gear, and I'm going to make a beat. So the training, I'm going to drive the ball back and come to the outside, inside, outside, stop, draw the ball back, come outside, inside again. So I'm making a beat and escaping. Training my right, start with my left, out, in, out, draw the ball back, out, in, out, the right foot, drawing the ball back, outside, inside, Out, in, out at an angle, a 45 degree angle. I'm drawing it back to the 45, coming out from the 45. So out, in, out at a 45 degree angle, drawing it back at a 45, coming out. Other foot. So now we'll do the same thing, but now we're training your right foot, meaning we'll start on our left. So very slow. Out, in, out. I stop. Oh wait, no, no. So I'm training my left, I start with my right, sorry. So I start with my right, pull back with my left. Out, in, out. I stop with my left, draw the ball back at a 45 degree angle, I come out again. Pull back. Stop, stop, stop. Out. In, out, pull back at the 45, come out at the 45. Well, the next one, next part of the series. So I'm kind of going to add a little take on move here. So the take on move is pretty simple. So I'm going to fake right, so I'm going to drop my shoulder and go left. Or I'm going to fake left, go right. So if I'm taking out a defender, if I step one way, I want her or him to take a step this way, so I open up space the other way for me to attack. So when training this, if I want to train my right, of course, I start with my left. So both feet are getting activated at the same time. So out, in, out, instead of the sole, now I'm stepping and taking outside and repeating the combination. So outside, inside, outside, dropping my right shoulder, taking it away from my left foot. So we'll take it slow again. Out left, in left, out left, step, out, in, out. Drop the shoulder, out, in, out. Face this way so you can see. A little bit slippery in the socks, <laughs> but we're always adapting our environment. Out, in, out, step, and go. Now we're going to train our left, so of course we start with our right. Out, in, out, step, out, in, out, step. I drop my shoulder. So really get into that shoulder drop. The defender needs to, needs to fall for this. So pop, pop, pop. So really get into it, come outside. Get into it, come outside. So turn my left, I start with my right. In, out, get into it, take it outside. So I'm shifting my weight. Bop, bop, bop. And I'm all done. One more to go. So last one here for today. I got a little excited with every exercise I want to share with you. I'm going to train with my right, so it's a little bit of challenge. So again, I start with my left. So I'm going to go outside, inside, outside. Now I'm going to put the ball behind my leg here. Out, in, 
out, and I'm going to cut so I can do that, that way with a planted leg, or I can pop. So out, in, out, and then we're going to chop behind our leg. Bop, 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 chop behind the leg. Bop, 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 or I add the little chop, and I come out to the bowl. So let's take about 30 seconds to train this. Out, in, out, chop. Bop, bop, chop. Up here. Other side, so we start with our right, and we want to train with our left. Out, in, out, left foot chops. Out, in, out, left foot chops. So I start back here. Out, in, out, I chop with the left. Bop, bop, chop. Bop, 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 chop. Back on this way. Bop, bop, chop. So in this video, you can always replay it and look at how I'm doing this in the train. It's all about repetition, repetition, repetition. So now I'm going to take a little bit of time and go over everything one last time for you. So take one minute. You can do whatever you like, anything that we trained on today. Or you can just watch. I'm going to go through each exercise really quickly. So you have what we learned from the beginning to the end. Let's go. <laughs> See, we're gonna turn down the music here. Whew. <laughs> I hope you guys are as um, tired as I am and enjoyed the session as much as I did. What um, I love about this clubhouse is how it is a way for us to unite together and fight together in this time of isolation and as well train together for this great fight that we're in right now. Um, what I said earlier about 
you know, the session dedicated to gender equality, number five, and global goal number 10, reduce inequalities, that this ball unites us in every way, and it can bring about a sense of equality on the field. And with that sense of equality, it can resonate as well in society. So I think this game has a power to unite um, everyone in this world. And it's been a pleasure to train with you today. So I hope everyone stays, stays safe. And I look forward to seeing you on Thursday.